In November of 1922, after five years of searching, Howard Carter and his patron, Lord Carnarvon, finally discovered the last resting place of Tutankhamun. His tomb was found directly beneath the tomb of Ramses VI, which had been built much later on. As a result, the debris from the construction had been dumped into the entrance to Tutankhamun's tomb. A stroke of luck for us today, since the boy king's tomb thus remained intact and hidden for more than 3,000 years. This fantastic exhibition transports us to the famous tomb at the very moment of its discovery. Everything has been arranged as it was seen in the original photos and records of the archaeologists. This is the antechamber looking exactly as it did when Howard Carter found it. Inside this chamber alone, Carter and other members of his excavation team found and recorded almost 700 objects. Strange looking animal figures, statues, and gold. Everywhere, the brilliant glint of gold. Look inside here. This stool here has been decorated to look like a leopard skin and the legs shaped like duck bills, amazing. But most significantly are the three large gilded beds, each with these strange looking animal heads and elongated bodies. Before the burial, Tutankhamun's mummy would have been laid upon each of these beds in turn so that the dead king could participate in mysterious rituals to become one with the sky goddess and be transformed into the immortal sun. Underneath the bed with the lion's heads, Carter found this throne made of wood, of ebony. This would have been used by Tutankhamun as a child. Under the second bed, decorated with the cow-headed goddess, there lay this whole pile of strange egg-shaped white vessels. These would have been filled with food to be consumed by the king during his journey into the realm of the dead. But what Carter found under this bed, the one decorated with the hippo's heads, took his breath away. This magnificent throne of the king covered in gold from top to bottom and richly embellished with inlays of glass and precious stone. Wow, it is beautiful. However, it seems likely that grave robbers broke into the tomb shortly after the young pharaoh was buried. A number of golden items lie carelessly dumped into a heap in this corner of the chamber. Fortunately, the would-be thieves seem to have been interrupted because the other contents of the tomb remain just as we see them here. It took three months for Carter and his team to clear out this chamber. These two figures standing guard indicated where the entrance to the burial chamber must be. So on February 17, 1923, Carter began tearing down the wall that separated the chamber from the mummy of the pharaoh. 